fire in the Kappa workstation. The following provides a general workflow overview. In a short video, it is not available options and parameter values. Please refer to We start Sapphire from the Kappa workstation. On the left are several options. To the default is new. Here we can start a new analysis from scratch or select a template. A template is a file containing the basic reservoir based on a previous analysis that was saved as a template. On the lower part of the screen, we have a list of recent used documents and folders. The Open option opens a set file from any location. The Main Doc options are specific for this document. Settings defines all defaults. Clicking at the top are the default oil field. We can change a parameter unit by selecting an alternative and saving our updated unit system by clicking Save As. This file can then We can select any of the predefined unit systems under Load button, Load from a file. These are default settings. However, we can always change the in main doc options. Currently, there is only the Russian language as an alternative. Off Windows is also a Russian version. Moving now to the Interface option. Figures define the position of the parameter values in the interface and output. Incidentally, we use much higher position. Have undos in the model's undo redo to a maximum of 5. Please note that increasing this value program using more. The appearance of the plots and parameters is changed in aspects. Mode changes the appearance of the plots for better copying and pasting Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. We use the keyboard shortcut Control F option for the layout. It can also be used when presenting live to a projector. Under Load, we can change the default parameters for the load versus time and depth. These are just the default values, and it is possible to adjust these during the. Next are the technical settings. Under Skin, we define the reference area for skin calculations. This is, by default, the net stratigraphic thickness of the reservoir, but this can be changed to reflect the type of well. Selecting the will change any of the calculations for the skin, just the reported values in the results. The geometrical skin component will calculate the skin for certain well geometry. Refer to the help for more information about skin components and calculation. In critical parameters, we can highlight. It is recommended to select the second to get a warning when we forget to enter a value. Sometimes in the output that we used a default value when in fact the parameter is correct or is not used at all. Warranted warning, we can select ignore in results. External models are special analytical models for complex wells. This library is constantly evolving and available. To use these, we must install. That is by default, E colon backslash program files backslash kappa back zero backslash external models. For more information, 
website. External pressure drop correlations are specialized correlations for nodal analysis and not normally used here in Sapphire. To find the calculations for the Productivity Index, or PI, for the test. The real PI is the one from the test data. The ideal PI is calculated with scale. is the ratio of the real and ideal productivity indices and the damage efficiency. We can select which reservoir pressure will be used in the PI analysis. Pressure, PI, can be used with any model. P average with the closed and P at 72 hours in case we have a semi log in our superposition plot. In default print up, the output format and text may be adjusted. Finally, click OK to save the selections and return to the and see now a new analysis tab with pressure and rate data. Change the pressure channel at the top to limited entry. Again, we will extract the last buildup for analysis. As this is the default option in the extraction dialog, we can use a shortcut. Click Shift on the keyboard and see that the extraction icon now displays a flash, an indication that the automatic extract is active. Click on the icon and the program extracts the delta P of the last shut-in with the default extraction values. Maximize the log lot plot and open the tools window. Select the limited entry well model and click OK. We now see two additional lines on the plot. The first horizontal line is the initial limited entry stabilization line. The two horizontal lines are connected by a minus half slope line, indicative of spherical flow. Select show tool parameters. The wellbore storage line appears to fit the early time data, so we leave that where it is. The same applies for the horizontal KH line. We know that the well has a perforated interval of 12 feet, so we enter that value in the tool parameters box. Next, move the minus half slope line to match the end of the wellbore storage. Close the tool parameters window and reset the log lot plot to its normal size. Click on the analytical model icon and see that the well model is set to limited entry and the parameters have the values of our manual model match. The assumption here is that the well is in the middle of the reservoir. We can select the position of the inflow section with the parameter ZW. Check the definition of the well parameters by clicking the reservoir icon at the bottom of the window. This launches the help file showing schematics of the well, reservoir, and boundary types. Click Generate to make an initial match. We no longer need the tools line in the plot, so clean up the display by a right-click in the plot and deselecting Show Tools. Finally, select Improve and, as we know the inflow area, deselect the HW parameter as a variable. Click Run and we have a match. Change the name of the analysis by double-clicking on the tab and change the name to Limited Entry. The last model we want to show is changing well bore storage. Make a copy of the Limited Entry analysis by clicking New Analysis and select the Keep All Input Parameters option. Change the pressure gauge to Changing Well Bore Storage and do an automatic extraction of the delta pressure by selecting Shift Extract. Observe on the diagnostic log log plot that the early time pressure and derivative data points are not on a unit slope straight line. Maximize the plot and in the tool section, select Changing Well Bore Storage and the well model to finite radius. Click OK and tick the option Show Tool Parameters. We now have to move the three points to match the early time data. Notice that the shape is very sensitive to small changes in the position of the three control points. 
make an approximate match, and minimize the window after closing the box. We can use the shortcut for the initial match by pressing the Shift key and clicking on Analytical Model. This will copy the data from the manual match into the model and generate the pressures. Finally, go to Improve to refine the match. If we want to improve on all parameters, we can once again use the Shift key as a shortcut. Finally, we change the name of the analysis to Changing Wellboard Storage. We can compare the different analysis by clicking the Compare icon at the top. In this window, we select all to see all the different models and tick the data box to include the pressure data of the relevant gauges. We can also see all the parameters of the selected models by clicking on the results icon. To return to the original screen layout, click the close button in the compare window.